Welcome back to Cosmoteer. My name is Neil Larsen. I am continuing this. So yes, there has been a bit of a uh, pause on the Cosmoteer content here on the channel, but that's not because I did not like it, did not want to play more, but I had a full content schedule. And uh, it's as we progress with this game, it takes more time between sessions. So I will be trying to find a bit more time on my streaming schedule to also do some designs there because uh, by doing designs together with the, an online community, we just get a much faster feedback loop and can do uh, so much more cool things and uh, come up with more better designs. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to be make better designs. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for the interest in this game. It was uh, it's a, it really got me by surprise. This game. I, I know there's some there are lots of comments in. in below that are like oh, awesome lovely and i appreciate it then there's some like yeah, stupid game because you have to do uh, carry around batteries i know it's a silly thing that you have to carry around batteries but it what's it's what makes the game from a logistics perspective interesting and you know me and logistics games then uh, so even though it might be a bit silly that they run around with batteries then that's part of what actually makes it an interesting game if it was just like okay you just put a power there and then there's magically gonna be bringing the power to where you need it you just have one power cluster and that's it. And then you wouldn't really bother with how to get it there because there would be wires inside the hull. So I think this uh, makes it a lot more interesting. And, and yeah, it's a game mechanic that just maybe from a realistic perspective doesn't make sense. But I mean, there might be a few other things that have uh, issues with realism here. Now let's talk about because uh, what we're going to do today. Because um, every time I want to do these, I want to start with an overhaul. Well, not every time, but that's kind of the way I want. I want to do, I have some ideas about how to make this ship better. And then we do an overhaul, we complete it, and then we test it out and we do iterations on how to improve it from there. What I want to do here is, first of all, if we're going to go into more different difficult zones, we are absolutely going to need more armament. These rail cannons are absolutely amazing and these are working fine for sort of short range, but we are going to need two things. We're going to need missiles. Uh, different types of missiles. I'll be focusing on the high explosive ones first, and we have today build missile factories as well. On top of that, since we're going up against the bigger enemies, then we also need more missile defense. These ones are just not cutting it for shooting down incoming missiles. So we need uh, some more uh, ammunition or some more, uh, yeah, some some more point defense to to protect us as well. And uh, on top of that, we've also seen that with this reverse thrust, it's just not enough. So we need more reverse thrust. And then, of course, we need more forward thrust to counteract all the additional weight that we put on. Uh, in this case, I've been putting in some uh, some factories here. And uh, this is like the simplest way to make a money-making factory. <laughs> I have Tritanium, a Tri-Steel Smelter. We have the Hypercoil and the Coil Factory. So these just take copper and make into Hypercoils. And Hypercoils is great for selling. Titanium is something we need a lot of for our upgrades. So we are going to need more Titanium. And I think it's easier instead of going around buying it at a high price. Then we can just uh, run around while we look for copper. We can also just pick up whatever Titanium we find and convert it. Uh, I'm sure there are other factories that are probably good to to get but uh, those are the ones that i'm kind of easily getting now uh, what we also have now is we've unlocked all the blueprints because hey we got the money so why not just unlock all the blueprints let's get started on the actual design part so we're going to go in here and um, well there this is for my liking which may not surprise any of you that uh, i make boxy ships so i want to make it non-boxy and i also don't want to overhaul everything it's kind of, I think that's an important thing going forward is that we want to make additions and then take the stuff that we, we like and just not really change that. Maybe iterate it a tiny bit, but generally just try to keep it intact. So what I want to do is I want to make wings. Yeah, I want to make them hooked wings up here because that'll give me extra broadside out here on the side where we can have uh, the missile factories and it'll give me some more back pointing things. And also because it'll be sort of a wing, then it'll protect some internal thrusters here. So that is going to be what we want to design our way out of. We're going to be hitting the blueprint mode. We're going to be taking that line down the middle. And then we will get started on this. Let me uh, put a draft together on how I want to do this. And this is the design I've come up with. And uh, I'm really happy about it. So what I've done is this: these ones I'm highlighting here. Uh, the last ones that we haven't cut off. Then we cut off all the rest of it and then make a, a wing. And uh, the, the key points, let's uh, walk through it. The missile factories, uh, missiles here, one, two, three, four. They are, I think that's working really well. I put these nearby so that they are 
easy to get in, but they also go into this location, the storage bay. And this will be for, you can see here, it says uh, sulfur up here, sulfur and iron in here. We'll have extra storage out here so we can bring it in. And we have one big generator to protect this area. And then we have, uh, yeah, a medium reactor core. And this is kind of a unit that I feel is really efficient. It looks efficient at least. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Up the front here to protect the front and also protect this uh, this uh, engine cluster and implicitly also protect this engine cluster here. Uh, then we are, oh my god, the guy who is complaining about uh, the internal thrusters. Oof, get ready for more complaining. Anyway, uh, don't care. What we have here is uh, also for what we're facing here. Yes, there will be a problem if we are facing disruptors, but we still have armor everywhere and we also have long range and disruptors, disruptors, disruptors. Uh, how long range? You have 180 meters, so that's actually kind of a long, long range. But um, yeah, we still have it and it still has to punch through the, the shield and before it can deal damage and then something else has to come in. So I still want to protect primarily with shields because they are cheap to fix. Uh, what we have here is six point defense with a little capacitor. Generally, capacitors are not good except for point defense because point defense are not doing anything. But when they start firing, they need to fire quickly. And therefore, uh, having a big storage nearby, just to, you can just fill up. And then between sessions, uh, we can just bring it up here. Because it's basically, this one has a storage of 18, I believe. Yeah, 18. While a small reactor has a storage of, um, let's see, 8. Yes. So I'd rather have it, even though it's not producing anything, than just have them sort of go up here and fill it up. And then just bring it out quickly in case they start firing during combat. So this will give me like a little buffer additionally. That's why I'm, I'm going with the capacitor, which I generally don't think is worthwhile for anything except point defense. Uh, we have, of course, hyper uh, hyperspace jumpers here. We have engine cluster out here. This is an extra engine cluster. So sidewise, we have two medium, two big one, and one. So we have three big and three medium as sideway thrusters. I hope that's enough. Uh, we need it primarily for steering. And what you could also do is, is fire the back ones here and the top ones here to sort of rotate around the zone axis. I don't know how that works, but I think that's going to be how it works. But more importantly, we have now six of the booster thrusters that will be hotkeying on either side. So we have 12 booster thrusters that will be uh, firing at once. Uh, the funny thing here is it says we need a crew of 388. We do not. Uh, because we actually have, it is interesting that it's actually one open area. I didn't really want it to be one open area. But this one will feed that area up here. This one will feed these two engine clusters. This one will feed these two engine clusters. And then the shield as well, I guess. And yeah, they have to walk through the engine room. But there's no way of walking around that engine room without sort of losing a lot of the plus 50% here. Now the problem with this, of course, uh, is two things. We need uh, a bit more of everything to get it. Not actually a lot of, uh, of uh, what is it called, diamonds. But an absolute ton of titanium. This is what I said, and that's why I had my titanium factory here, so we can go out and get that. Uh, on top of that, we also need a lot more crew. And this one, it's not going to be 388, but um, 136 is what I have projected. I've sort of calculated how I want it. I want six logistics to work on this area. I want six logistics to work on this area, and I want six logistics to work on this area. Then I want, um, let's see, we have moved uh, add an extra control room, and we've added, we've moved our sensor array down here. They will be fixed assignment. So we need four more for this one, not anything else for the other one, because that used to be up here. Then uh, we have uh, assignments two, four, six, eight here. That's a hard assignment for, for that. And engine rooms 2 plus 2, so that is 12 hard assignment, and then 6 plus 6, that's 12 sort of soft assignment. So it's 24 on either side, that's 48 additional compared to our initial growth. Oh, uh, 24 plus, this is 4 additional, right? No, 3 additional. Uh, so 48, 53, 51, 51 additional crew, and that's going to require more reputation. So what I need to do is I need to get more materials, obviously. And I need to, on top of that, get get some more reputation. So we still need to go out and use this for hunting. Well, let's just say the rest of this zone. And once we're done with this zone, we should have enough to, to complete, complete this. Since this is the old ship, then we don't really want to show that because we've already been, uh, been seeing this in action. We want to see the new one in action. So I'll just uh, skip over to being ready to upgrade. 
So after clearing out the pirates of this uh, sector, we now have uh, enough, I hope. There we go. Look at that. Uh, we do have to buy a few more. Let's see how much we have to buy. We have to buy some hypercores. Uh, that's embarrassing. We should build those. We have to buy some steel. Yeah, there's a lot of that. And some tri-steel. Whatever. We'll build it and make it so... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Blocked by another ship. I, I think we should have seen that coming. Um, wow, you are insistent. Okay, let's bring it down here. It is a big ship, so... Maybe... Maybe you want to go away that gunship there? Alright, let's go. Let's build it. Make it so. There we go. We have our ship. Uh, it's not working at all. <laughs> and uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to jump back to somewhere where we can buy some more crew. We can't buy it at this station. Oh, we can't jump. We can't We can't do anything in the ship. Damn. Um, why not, though? We can't even navigate it, and that's because we don't have enough crew. Yeah, that's a, that's always a, a bit of a challenge uh, to figure out how to get more crew. Uh, they should be coming down here, like some of them... There's one at least. Uh, the problem is here we only have like 50 command and we need 500. So somehow that command and that command is not working. So we do need some people to be assigned here. Maybe the ones that were assigned to uh, to the navigation thing. Let's have a look on the crew side because we need to buy more crew here. Uh, this is somehow assigned down there. Yeah. Okay. So we've also set up the assignment. So that should be good. Uh, this here. Yeah, so there's someone in here. They are assigned to the radar, but I don't care about the radar right now. Uh, I care about that one. Oh, hold on. It's working. The ship is working. Let's hurry up and jump back to a location where we can buy some more crew. Because we have now have 808, so we should have enough for... For that. Let's see. We are power charging up. Okay, charging up. 1%, 3 by 5 if we do this, we charge up faster. Okay, yeah, charging up uh, on a big ship like this is going to take a bit of time. And Oh, somehow we lost something. <laughs> we lost this. It's not running on... It's, it's running below Skeleton Crew for sure. So, let's see. We... Um, iron, carbon? No. Uh, crew. There we go. 131. That's all we have in this... Uh, no more we can hire. But we're getting close to the... To the optimal allocation of crew we need a few more and we might actually be able to get a few more here uh, with our current setup but what we need, they need to look at let's go back and then look at sort of resource allocation so i have six here i have six here well at least i should have uh, it would be nice if there was a little if i like looking at this and go like is that six lines i don't know i kind of think it is this one one two three four outwards and then the one inside so it's kind of five maybe here we have someone inserted here and we have someone here we have someone there we have no one in this one okay so let's see who was supposed to be working here that's this one uh, and there's no one assigned in that so we need to reassign some people from there uh, can i assign you there okay so now we do have two people yeah they just changed them so now they will be going down here and from this one they will be now hitting up in the engine room so we need to make sure that the ones that are most important we can live without one of these gun turrets but we can't really live without a rocket here we go that's the same kind of thing there's two in here okay they are coming in and yeah i think i i don't know where we're not allocated but something is not allocated and we need five more so what we need to do, oh let's actually go back here because there's a lot more stuff to look at if we look at assignments yeah, this is complicated. Uh, what I'm doing generally is we use these bunks and I prefer the two bunks because then we can more easily control exactly where they're going. And what we've done here is uh, if we look at assignments, then I'm assigning them to the power because then everything the power will serve will also be part of it. And I'm also having to to assign it to uh, service service the ammo because someone has to do that and service the ammo here as well and it also has to serve the the factory here uh, but i don't need to the ones that don't need any materials don't need to have any a, any assignment for example the shield the shield will get an assignment by looking at here because this is 
in charge of making sure that the shield is powered. And therefore, as long as I have logistics assigned to the generator, they will also be servicing anything the generator can service. It's kind of complicated, but that's how I'm doing it. Uh, this is just illustrating where I want to have each of these, dictating where they want to go. And that should also be going from here and up to that one. Um, yes, and then this one will go into each of these, but only those. And over on this side, you will be going to that, yes. And you are going up to that because it's mirrored. Great. That should be uh, taken care of that. If we look at assignments, we also make, need to make sure, well, you don't need to have to assign it here because that will be implicit. Good. I think we have all the assignments, all the things we need. We need a six more crew uh, to get it going. Let me just check something. Yeah, this one is setting up to all of them. If I'm actually being honest about this, and I'd like to be, uh, if we go in here, wouldn't it be better if I pulled this one back and then put a... How about I did that? Now I'm doing it without blueprint mode. And I actually do want to do that one. Okay, so this is now set up the way I want it. We moved it one back. We now have a little bit more space here for for this. I've, I've set up a flow so that the batteries flow from the reactor to the capacitor, and the capacitor is the only thing that fills up this. So that should be much e much easier to uh, to get that sorted. And yeah, uh, I don't know how I would want to do this quicker, but they should be moving that way around for sure. They actually, I should never have. This one should never be there, which means I can also just add a little bit more armor because that's hopefully never going to be relevant, but I can make it there as well. Cool. Yeah, that is uh, the ship as it looks now. And uh, I think we need to take it for a spin. But first, I'm going to try to get a few more crew. So we'll move it over to another location. Let's uh, move it up to this location and just actually just see if we can if we have more. Oh, we can hire more. We can hire five more. Great. Uh, let's let's actually just not run away from them. Great. We actually have a full con uh, contingent of crew on the ship. It is a monster. Ha! Huh. It is a monster. Yeah, we, we do have some things that are not working. They will get in here. And hopefully they, they will come to the import that where they actually need to go in. Actually, or maybe they'll just go to the closer one. So there we go. They will be now working in there. Great. And the crew here will go into that one and they will stay there. So now we should have everything online. Now, a big question is, why is this one not getting hard? So clearly there's a problem. Let's look at the flow. Hello, flow. Hello, lack of flow for that one. There we go. That was uh, understandable that that did not work. Good. And then that should work. Oh, where, what are we, where are we flowing? And there we go. Oh, that's a bad location to have the... Uh, have that let's that that's like the so many small things about this like is it the right place to have the doors all of those things we just have to check out and just follow as the ship progresses and yeah, they do have to to cross but yeah that's definitely better all right this ship is ready we are now going to since we've done with this zone we are going to be finding where we want to go that's going to be the next zone uh we can go to a seven to nine and i think seven to nine is the right one so that's the plicio plicio system cool uh plot a hybrid jump to here can i do that sure i guess well that's not really what i they didn't do anything there. Okay, so we need to go up here. Let's find out uh, what happens in the new system. And while we're going there, the first thing we want to check is the new speed. Oh, it was really good. Look at that. 70 something. It's faster. Now it's a faster ship than it was before. We don't have any factories inside, but that's uh, that's okay for now. Okay, that's just a hyper jump loop. All right, so first thing first, the forward thrust is better. It's just a bit bumpy somehow. Huh. Bit bumpy. Uh, th that's kind of weird, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Well, let's take our new ship for a spin here in the new sector. There will be something on the way, so let's have a look at this. First things first, we have to uh, do some things, and that is uh, these are still level one, level two. 
they are also fired here. Level three, that's all of our rocket silos. So our rockets, will we have them fired? Will or will they only have them fire at target? Also really cool is that you can go here and then you can rotate with O, rotate it, then it goes fire at will, hold fire and fire at target. So we go with fire at target. If we go with this one, this one will be, you know, I actually want this to be fire at will. Just shoot if you can. Anything that you can shoot with a railgun is going to die. So, that, well, not true, but kind of true. And I wish it was. Um, let's uh, let's do that. So we have that. And uh, let's move on in onto, and see how we're faring in the new sector where things are a little bit more dangerous, maybe. Okay. Maybe there's hopefully just one. Let's just see how it goes. Uh, do we want to test the rockets first? I think we want to test the rockets. Yeah, I can't target yet, but as soon as we get the rockets, they have 450 range, so they're less than my railgun, but more than other stuff. And here it comes, here it comes. And as soon as it comes in, then we start doing all the stuff. There. Actually, I'm gonna be hold fire on my rail cannon because I wanna see how my, this one's working. And I'm firing high explosive rockets, and it doesn't have shields, so that should be good. Uh, it does have some, EMP launches kind of sucks, but we are going to, what are we going to try to aim for? Yeah, we can't take that one out. So let's just shoot some of this in. What we also need to do is maintain our distance because you want to get close. We do not want to get close to this one. Maintain distance. Are we firing rockets? Nope, not yet. Let me try and see. I'm trying to maintain distance here. Hmm. What is the range of... So the way you check the range is really weird because you have to check it from the factory. High explosive rockets, alt, and that is range of 450 meters. While the rail cannon is... 300 meters, but max 600 meters. I don't know why it says two ranges, but... Uh, and what distance are we trying to keep at? If we look at this, then that range here. Yeah, actually this is the range for the cannons. So let's try and set that range. There you go, they are coming in. You're also shooting at us. You have two EMPs, we are gonna slow down. We wanna see what, what happens here. And our rockets are getting a good trajectory. These are not, they are coming in. Yeah, this is our PDFs getting into action. We have PDFs here, here we have uh, what is that? 14 on either side. So that's... I think we should be having a pretty good barrage to... Are you kidding me? Okay, they took him out, but it was too close for comfort. What about your PDF ranges? Oh, they're just breaking in here. Yes. <laughs> okay, we are... We're getting a big stream of everything here. And unfortunately, we're just not hitting it. Come on. But it's still alive. I mean, that rail cannon must be good, considering how awful this, how awful it is to take it out without rail cannons. And oh, we just fire like this and rotate like this. We want to rotate it. Yeah, it's somehow still alive. That is absolutely absurd. We're not gonna get any kind of loot from this. It's it's, it's protected, certainly protected from our deck cannons. Which have kind of run out of power now. Huh. Interesting. And we also kind of run out of rockets. That's insane how much waste we spend when we don't use our... When we don't use the rail cannon. It's still... It's still alive. It's still alive. It's still alive. It's still alive. I mean, it's funny to use that. But oh my god, is that inefficient. <laughs> Finally. We used the entire barrage and... That was certainly not worth it. Certainly not. Let's also go back to just... We also need to pick up iron now and... High explosive parts. Yeah, nuclear... Yeah, nuclear parts probably for selling. EMP parts, we don't want to get that. Ammo. I guess we need ammo as well. Damn. Okay. Well, um... It worked. But... And it's not because nothing... Nothing didn't work. I, I don't know how to say that, but... It's quite clear to me at least that... Ah, these rockets are, they're not as, they're not overwhelming in this, in, in performance for sure. So, uh, 
I, I guess it's nice to have something extra if uh, we get flanked and it's a big ship, so we will get flanked a lot. And But I don't know. It just kind of feels a bit underwhelming. Anyway, let's uh, fly in here and uh, get some quests and then uh, go out and get some stuff here as well. We are also going to... Um, we're going to get some more sulfur. We have to make sure that we have some sulfur and some iron now. Because that's uh, that's what we need for our high explosive rockets. Should be coming in here. So let's uh, make sure that we get we harvest a bit. And as we go back to the mission. And then we just so we have things working in our factory here. So we managed to get some new quests. And unfortunately the quests in this area. They don't give enough. Because they only go up to 610. And... This means only the pirate hunters. That means there are some pirate hunters out there we can uh, we can hunt, and also for the pirate base. But you know what? We need uh, a lot of resources and stuff in this base to build up again, and that means well, we I think we will we'll be doing this anyway. Uh, do we? How many crew? We can actually require uh, add eight, seven more crew if we want to. But I want to run with this uh, projected crew just to see if it works. And we'll be going out. Is that a... That's a pirate base. Yeah. Um, so let's go into this location. Uh, get our way around this one. And by the way, I, I I want to retain the idea of one capital ship. I know it's better to have like a factory ship and a scouting ship and a missile ship and all that. But I want one capital ship because it's a, it's a more challenging design uh, issue here. So we'll we'll keep uh, keep this one going and uh, expand it. I have ideas for how to expand it further, but I'd like to hear your ideas as well. Let's do some more iterations on this. Get in some uh, some good scraps and see if uh, how we fare in this case. Come on, there must be something in here. There we go. Oh, two, two. That's okay. Um, I want to. Oh, three. Okay. Well, that's a problem. And they're firing, they're in, coming in a little bunch. So I'm definitely, since they're also on an approach vector with us, then I want to slow down. And then, there. Okay, that's not, not dangerous. What is that? That's a large cannon there in the middle. Okay. We're just going to carve straight through. I have this on as that. What we're going to do is we're definitely going to try to keep our distance. But don't look like you keep your distance. No, no, no. We're just going to keep our distance here. Okay, that's one shot. And that's another shot. Okay, next. And that is there. And we'll mark this as a on the map. They're getting closer. And it shoots again. Okay, these are just not... Uh, they should not be here. You should not be here in this zone. You're absolutely uh, not equipped to be here. And look at our range. We want to go that range, and then as we get that range, then we fire the boosters to maintain the range. Can we fire the boosters? Come on, thrust them. Boost! And here comes the missiles. Let's see what the missiles are doing. They are also firing missiles at us. Oh my god, that's such a waste. Just pivot and then take it out. There we go. Wow, what a waste of missiles. All right, that was unfortunately not particularly uh, useful information because it was too small of two small ships. We'll uh, we'll pick up uh, some more and find some bigger ships to uh, to play with. Yeah, we have another engagement. This one engagement is only a single ship, so maybe this is uh, a higher level ship and seeing if that can sort of resist some shots from the rail cannon and we'll be able to get close. We should be, everything should be powered. Oh, wow. We are not keeping power on this one. That's interesting. Yeah. So maybe it's, it looks like. Hmm. I may need to sort of make some speedy flow here and then move this tiny bit further away. Maybe move it over here and just scrap that. I think that might be a good idea. Or, or, here's another idea. Let's do that afterwards. That would be a thing, right? That would certainly help out because then they can carry bigger chunks. That is definitely what we're going to do. Because uh, money is no concern for us at this point. And especially not when... And there we go. So now we are getting closer to this range. We are going to start firing our thrusters so we maintain the distance. We are going to start 
picking up where we're gonna shoot at. Uh, this is the one that we, when we didn't use our railgun, it took forever. So we can't really take out the two cockpits without taking that one out. So we might as well take this one out immediately. Let's see if we can maintain the distance here. Fire the thrusters to keep the distance. Looks like we're actually keeping a distance. Oh, wow. That's so... Ah, come on, fire more thrusters. Uh, why are we not shooting? Oh, we are. Okay, never mind. All right. Well, that was underwhelming as well. But we did fire some, some rockets as well. Okay. Let's find some more stuff. Maybe the pirate base would be more... Uh, more of an interesting challenge here. Here we have something bigger. This is called Gunwing. It has both guns and wings. Oh, lo never mind. It is being wrecked right now by apparently someone we're friends with. Oh, I'm not going to like this because uh, I don't want to be accidentally finding that. So let's just pause our rail cannon and trying to see what happens if we just go for... Uh, you are uh, You are screwed. To be perfectly honest, you have to turn your shields towards me and then you're going to be blasted by the Buscador. I don't even need to do anything. You are just very, very dead already. Wow. Come on, can I fire something? Alright, I need to fire something at it. Otherwise, I am uh, I'm probably not going to get that kill thing. So, there. shoot there we go i did i fame leveled up distinguished all right that was a little bit of an unfair fight little bit of an unfair fight uh, i'll take it though and you are kind of wrecked bumping into us hey get out of the way little ship and there's a like stream of uh, of goodies for us all right we'll pick this up and then we will be hunting out for more stuff we're coming up on a new zone. This is clear in the asteroid field. And uh, I think there are usually... There's two pirates in here in the asteroid field. Let's hope that they are a bit bigger and then see what uh, what they can come up with. So you're also on an approach vector. That means we stop the slower... Slow down? No. Nope. Okay. Okay. You're running away. Let's mark this uh, for uranium. Just for... If we should want it. There we go. And we have a target. That is a bastion again. Uh, we'll be just shooting everything at you. Poof, yeah. Unfortunately not. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll proceed in here. And uh, Okay, so it looks like this is not really going to be a much of a challenge for us. So I am going to go for the pirate base then. Oh, we are picking up asteroid as we go along. That's nice. It's actually not nice, but... Uh, Maybe that'll that'll be sort of a an implicit protection for us. Oh, oh, that's interesting. This is a uh, this is a missile gunboat. One, two, three, four, five, six missiles. That's a, as almost as much as we have. All right. We're, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna be. We'd actually like it to try to get a shot in because I think that as soon as I hit it, it's just gonna explode. It's just gonna explode all the way down the middle if I shoot it. That's kind of sad because I want to see how we. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're just gonna not do this. And then we're gonna do is take it out with get into a missile fight with a missile gunboat. That's a bad idea, by the way. And we're trying to maintain distance, but in this case, I don't think we wanna maintain that distance. I think we wanna maintain like a distance like this. Yeah. Okay, so you're firing. Are we firing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is interesting. This we do this for science. For science. Fire damn you. Okay. PDFs are engaged. Yes. Yes. Okay. And our rockets are not shooting. Why are the rockets not shooting? They have fire at target. Okay. They don't have a target. There you go. Now they have a target. Oh, right, I forgot to set the target to attack. So we're going to set that, um, except... There we go. Now they now they're come. Our rockets are coming out. And we're just desperately trying to shoot down there. We're actually kind of okay. That one impacted on our shields. There we 
go. Okay, we're shooting down almost all of it, and the rest is coming by the shields. Now it's our turn. Uh, we're impacting the front armor. That's kind of sad, but that's kind of how it is. And we are overshooting a bit as usual. Oh, but that's not going to be overshooting. All right, taking out some engines. Nothing major. What are we? How are we holding up here? One of the shields is kind of broken. It's not doing so well, but uh, it's okay. How about incoming missiles? We are not shooting missiles, are we? Why are we not shooting missiles? Damn you. You have so many missiles. Okay, that looks like there's a problem with assignments, right? Yeah, I guess it's... I guess they, they leave their own station to get more ammo because they, they are not keeping up. And probably not keeping up because they have to go through this location. Um, yeah, maybe a few more logistics crew out here for combat situations. There's one rocket. Alright, let's go out here and see. Uh, right now we're just shooting down missiles and not really firing anything at them. That's kind of not great. But hey, we are testing our PDFs, and our PDFs are holding up pretty well. Here comes two missiles, that's all we could shoot. Uh, so this one is actually, they are having the missiles, but they are just not having the crew for the missiles. Are we getting impacts? Yeah, we're getting impacts, but we haven't really taken out anything except shields and one engine, so they can't really steer at this point. But it doesn't really matter. Oh, look at that, our rockets are ugh, strafing. Strafing shots on on plate they're kind of steering i love the how the mechanic works of this and they're overshooting as usual because they have to dodge that one all right let's get out here then all right let's get a little bit more speed here i know this is not the most oh we got it we got it we got one. This is not the most efficient way, but we want to see how we hold up against the gunboat. And I think we're holding up pretty well, except when they come in from behind. Bonk, bonk. But that's why we have shields at the rear as well. Cool. All right. So without using any any of our... Uh, any of, Yeah. Without using our railguns, we can actually do stuff and we can also protect against the gunboats. That's good. This one had... Six space shooting at us constantly, and we were holding up steady. Good. Just taking a few glancing blows, but that's okay. You also want to expect to get a few glancing blows in, I would imagine, because, yeah, otherwise you're way overpowered. Let's also take that one while we're here. Cool. Let's have us and then head for a pirate base. There's a pirate base up there. Let's head for that one. Maybe clear the other ones out and then head for the pirate base so we can get a real challenge here to wrap up our testing of the new design. I like the new design. It seems to work. I think that this one could use with more railguns because that's really what carries, carries the whole thing. And as we're now heading towards the final combat here and the... The pirate base to take out that uh, we are we've made some upgrades let's have a look i have uh, upgraded the reactor 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 and reactor yes it's super expensive but it uh, just gives us uh, the fact that they move three at a time just makes all the difference i think and uh, yeah that's that's definitely how i want it uh yes there and i also of course had to uh, redo the the directions here and redo the allocations of resources but i think that's already been done so we are uh, good to go and here we go that's uh we are now coming closer to this location this has to be approached really carefully because we can get overwhelmed super quickly okay uh we definitely don't want to go into the middle combat immediately there we go we got someone coming oh wait let me turn the my back to them yeah, there we go. Come on, I want you to recognize that I am here. Come on. As soon as they get that, there we go. Now you should be uh, noticing me. There, and we'll be reverse thrusting us. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. All right, change target, change priority. Uh, that is going to be the gunship. We are not going to be playing games with you. And I will be firing my thrusters to keep at a distance there and pivot shoot 
And why are we not shooting? Oh, that's a good shot. Uh, no, it was not a good shot, but we'll get another one. There we go. That's uh, that's why these gunships are so vulnerable. And uh, we'll go up to the other one. And then we'll go here, take out that, take out that, and just really try to stay, to keep our distance. But don't look like you keep your distance. And, all right, distance, good. And then now, uh, I will go to boost us. They'll boost, uh, so we maintain the distance. And down the middle. That is targeted, good. Shoot them, you. Did it. Okay, we're also just firing rockets because we're getting way too close. Why are we getting so close? Get back. Okay, we're actually at a good distance here. Just mark us. All right, uh, that is definitely a moving thing. So we'll move out there and try to work our way to get that from the angle. Yeah, although you are kind of running away. Circling, circling. Keeping a distance. They are probably one of those at least is going to be to, uh, some kind of some kind of rockets at us. But yeah, we've, we've noticed that we can actually take care of that. There we go. I think we are uh, getting your attention now. There we go. Turn, damn you, turn! Why are you? Why are you? Okay, that's silly. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's not do this. And go back here, and then make sure that we turn fast. Fanning. There we go. And then the inputs. That was brilliant. Not a shot coming in. Our new uh, new setup is working very well, I think. But we just need for more of this. We need more firepower. <laughs> of course, we need more firepower. Uh, and I think it also works now better with power. We are going to have to keep an keep an eye out for the power to see if there are any glips in power because we did have that before. All right, we have a gun turret that is that is uh, going to be taken out. And is it going to be taken out now? Yes, it is going to be taken out. Good, let's move over to the other side of the base here. There. We just circle around and we want to get it in from an angle where we can take take out the cockpit, but not the, the rest of it. And this was just us moving away. It wasn't because our center ray was losing part. There we go, that's, that's the location. I feel it's going a bit quick now. Get a shot. Here it comes. There. Get ready for the explosion. The inevitable explosion. Yep, that's... That's the good... That's the sound of the good guys winning. They're evil, right? Yeah, they're evil. They're definitely evil. They must be. Otherwise, we wouldn't be shooting them, would we? Alright, so this one has a lot of turrets and stuff. And we're going to dig in for the two sides here, because we want to get as much as possible. I'll just go at this point. There. Is it? Yeah, it's kind of pivoting. Yeah, it doesn't like to have exposed its cockpit towards us, so it might not really matter that much. Alright, so we need to dig through all of this anyway. Let's see. And here. We'll have to cut through this outer part here. Okay, but these will have some storage base. So maybe we actually want to take out the storage base just to see what happens then. And this is also not protected by... Okay, it's interesting that it turns its armor towards us. Not its uh, actual... Actual shields. We need to pivot. Okay, let's pivot a bit faster here. Pivot the other way then. There we go. Now that one. Got it. And now we want to go over to the other side and try to take that one out without taking out the reactor in the middle. Yeah, you don't really want that, do you? Uh, let's see. Does this have any kind of 
it doesn't have any PDFs or anything like that. Okay, so let's do something else. Let's do something. Let's go in and have a bit of fun with it. There. Now we'll also be launching rockets at that. Everything on this one. Here we go. Rockets incoming. And again. Yeah, well, they're deteriorating the shields, I guess. And it's just rockets against the armor just doesn't do anything. It is unbelievable how little it, it does. And you can shield even. They're just not really doing damage. Like you're shooting and shooting and nothing happens. Yeah. That's definitely not what I wanted. I want to just pivot. Now that's something. And dig straight through all the ammo. There we go. And we got the mission completed. Yeah, there's just nothing compares to a good railgun. Like, we like the missile barrage, but it's it's just not comparable. I think it's good against uh, multiple targets so that we can uh, we can really... Uh, we, we can have them being busy with additional. And our PDFs are definitely also worthwhile. Now, the next thing we definitely want to do is make more factories. And on top of that, we also probably want more railguns. We could extend it with more of this one in the middle. Yeah, that would probably be something we'd like to do in the future. Also, uh, it, it needs to extend further down. Basically, if you look at this, I wanted to fill out the entire area because that's the biggest ship we can make and it, it needs to be a capital ship. So that is going to be uh, it for today. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. Oh, look at that. They still have their uh, their shields up and running while we are munching on them. This feels like eating a, a, eating a prey half alive. Well, uh, that is uh, the way of the world, at least out here. All these uh, um, debris. Let's just call it debris. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode with the design and the testing and also the adaptation. If there's any interest, I can share these blueprints as well. Um, I think they are pretty cool, these, this blueprint. And there's definitely room for improvement. So let me know in the comment section below what you would improve for this setup. I'm really proud of about how we are able to manage this with a crew of 136. Uh, actually, we have lost a few, haven't we? Uh, we lost a few. Whatever, we can, we can resupply. We can replenish them. But uh, definitely a very small crew considering the size of the ship. So that's uh, one of the key things to optimize for. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.